Let Them Speak, review hours 1 to 37. Please repeat or answer. Did he tell you how long it's been since they first met? Did you feel that he was the type of person that she would have fallen in love with? Did he say that she said that she was surprised he wasn't afraid to ask her out on a date right away? Once that she said that she'd love to do that, where did he say that he would like to bring her? Did she say that they had so much fun being together the first date they had together? Did she say that he was so romantic that she couldn't help but be impressed by him? What is it that she said that impressed her the most about him? Is that something that you look for in a person that you were thinking of dating? Did he tell her that he wanted her to pick the next place that she wished they would go on the next date? Did she say that she found out that he knew some of the people that she hangs around with? Did she tell you what else surprised her about the way he acted? I bet that they'll end up staying together for a while. Do you wish that you could find a person like that, that you could get to know better? Is there anyone that you haven't met that you would want them to love you?
What is it about them that attracts you the most? Are you ever afraid people may not give you their phone number right after you first meet them? When was the last time you felt awkward giving your phone number to someone you just met? Would your parent would your friends feel shocked if they had any idea that you were attracted to that person? Are there a lot of people that you have read about or seen that you're attracted to? Where would there be a lot of people that would be attracted to you? Are you good at quickly making friends with people you've never met before? Do people find you easy to get to know right after meeting you? Do you find that you tend to be shyer than most of your close friends you have now? Don't people who are shy have difficulty making new friends? Do you wish that you were more outgoing than you are now? Are you good at starting a conversation with people you have never met before? You must not have a hard time meeting new people. Is there anything special that you wind up doing to help people feel more comfortable with you once you first meet? Have they been good friends ever since they were growing up together?
Did they happen to grow up in the same neighborhood that you grew up in? Once they graduated from high school, did they decide to go to the same college you plan on going to? Where is the place that they enjoy going to the most that you wish you could go with them? Are they waiting for someone there now that you're interested in meeting too? Is the guy who is looking at his phone texting to find out where their friend is? Wouldn't it be easier to find out where they were if they just decided to call them? Are they worried that their friend might not show up? Weren't they all supposed to meet around a quarter till three at the store they'd been standing in front of? How long will they be willing to wait for their friend who said they would be there? Just as long as they feel certain their friend will show up, do they plan on waiting? Won't they have a lot to talk about once they meet? What would happen if their friend doesn't happen to show up in time? Do you generally tend to wait for your friends longer than they wait for you? Is she ever brave? Can you tell what all she may be demonstrating about? Are women's rights something that you find worth demonstrating for? Can you name one of the issues that women have that they tend to protest about the most? Do you remember seeing women demonstrating in the news that you have watched lately?
would you be willing to go out to demonstrate against repression of women's rights? Do women need men to help them stand up for these issues that are found in society? Does it look like the woman you see in this image isn't afraid to protest for what she believes? Doesn't she seem to care if there are riot police there that will probably try to come to break up the protest? What would happen to her where you live if they happened to arrest her? Does it appear that those riot police are afraid to look at the woman demonstrating? When was the last time that you heard or saw a protest on the news that related to something about women? Does it seem that there are a lot of ways that men want to control the way women act where you live? What's the biggest issue facing women that you find is the most important these days? Do I ever enjoy watching ballroom dancing? Is it something that you wish you were good at doing? Do you wish your parents helped you to take lessons when you were younger? Would you prefer just watching them instead of learning how to do it? Wouldn't you have to take a lot of lessons to dance as well as those two dancing in the photo? Do the dancers there find that dancing is a great way to express their emotions? Did you ask them how often they wind up having to practice to be that good?
It must be so expensive to take lessons that I could never do it. I envy them so much. Were you to have children, would you want them to know how to do this well? It doesn't matter how old they are. Wouldn't it be great to introduce them to this type of dancing? Do you regret that you never learned how to dance well at the time you were young? If you had the chance to go out to dance now, which song would be the one you would have them play? Who do you wish you could go out to dance with while that song was played? Would you care if they were a lot better dancer than you? Wouldn't it make a difference if they were a lot better than what you thought? Would it make you feel awkward if they were a really, really good dancer? Is there anywhere that you know that you could go to have fun just watching couples ballroom dancing? Since you don't dance that well, isn't it something that you would rather just watch? What a great idea. Did they want their friend to come take that photo so that they could send it to all of their friends? Do you have any idea where the photo was taken? Wouldn't you like to ask them where it is that they got the idea to take a photo like that? Did you ask them if they had any other photos like that where they managed to show their love for each other? Do you think that they would have photos that are on their phone of times when they are arguing with each other?
Can you tell whether they are married once you notice that she was wearing that ring? Wasn't the person taking the photo able to focus clearly on them standing in the back together? Can you tell which one of them has the phone that is the newest? Will they be able to upload the photo that the person is taking of them later? Is it something that they would look forward to showing the people they know? Who would you choose to take the same type of photo with you that you see they did? Would you be surprised if you were to see your parents taking that same kind of photo so they could show their friends? Do your parents ever ask to see the photos that you keep on your phone? Does he seem to be surprised to see them kissing while they're so close to him? What would happen if he asked them to please not do that while they're next to him? They must not care if he is near where they are or not. How long would you keep staring at them if you happened to be in that same situation? When was the last time that you kissed someone in public around people you didn't know? Do you feel that it doesn't make any difference whether people see you doing that or not? Don't you wonder whether the two people who are in the photo are used to doing that in public? Can you figure out whether the two people kissing are about the same age?
Once the ride begins moving, will they probably stop kissing? Doesn't it seem that strange that there is nothing to help them from falling out once the ride starts moving? If she were to start losing her balance, would he be sure to catch her? Does it seem like he wants her to keep kissing him even though that other guy standing there is staring at them? Wouldn't they feel annoyed if that guy with the glasses continued staring at them? There must be some kind of ceremony that he is getting ready to participate in. I imagine that it took a lot of time to put on all of that on his face. Do you think he is the one that put on all of that, or was it someone else that helped him do it? Would it be something that would be easy to do if there was no one else around there that could help him do it? Have you been able to figure out how it was that he was able to apply that kind of makeup? Would he have been able to do that by just using his fingers to apply the white makeup? If he had had a lot of hair, would he have been able to look as good as he does now? Is the design he chose to make something that is supposed to scare people? It must have something to do with death. If it began raining, wouldn't all of that start washing off his head? Wouldn't it look scarier then? Did she ask the friend she's with if she knows who in the world is calling her?
Has she turned around to see who it was that just finished calling for her? Wasn't she able to recognize the voice of the one calling her? Did it take her some time to recognize who it was that was calling her name? Was she totally shocked that it was someone that she used to go to grade school together with? Did she recognize the one that called her just as soon as she saw her coming toward her? She must have been really excited to see her again. Can't you tell just by looking at her eyes that she looked forward to seeing her again? Had she lost touch with her ever since they went to school together? Is she anyone that you know too? Did she say that she thought that she'd never be able to meet her again after she moved away? Who is it that you wish you could see again that you haven't seen from when you were in grade school? Are they the one that you were closest to at the time you were studying there together? What is it that they would be shocked about you if they got to meet you now? Would they want you to keep in touch with them more often? Where would you suggest to them that would be a good place to go talk more in the future? Would you be sure to get their phone number before leaving? Are they ever having fun being together? Wasn't there enough room for her to move over a bit to give him more space to sit?
Does it seem like she is enjoying it more being there at the time they happen to take this photo? Is the reason that she was so excited to see him because he had been traveling overseas a long time? Didn't she have any time to go with him so that they could have enjoyed traveling together? Is it something that she wished she could have done? Has he asked her how much she missed him while he was gone? Couldn't he tell by just looking at her face once they got to meet at the airport? Is what he's holding a drink that both of them are sharing? As they are sitting there together, are they in the middle of watching some of the videos he took while he was away? Does it seem that she found it amusing the way he was acting in the video? Isn't she interested in finding out what it is that he bought and brought back as a gift for her? Did he tell her that once he gets back home that he'll show her what it is that he got her? Did she try to tell him that she didn't care if he brought her back anything or not? Did he say that he doubted whether she really felt that way when he heard her say that? He must have gotten her something that he imagined that she would really like. Did he tell her that the next time he gets to go that he hopes to bring her with him? How did that make her feel? Would she be willing to go with him if he asked her to go? Do you think that the guy sitting next to them has been overhearing whatever they're talking about?
he couldn't help overhearing all of what they've been talking about. I suppose he wasn't able to hear a lot since he also has been listening to music on the phone he's holding. What a moving gravesite. Don't you like the way that the figure kneeling between the graves is bending over his head? It must be one of their kids that love them the most. Who would your parents choose among your brothers and sisters that they felt loved them the most? Is the person in the photo the one they loved the most? Even though your parents may have been divorced, would you still like them to be buried next to each other? Can you tell how many years ago those people died? I bet that the parents who were buried there were really loved by their kids. Isn't this one of the best gravestones that you've ever seen? How much do you think it would cost to make something like that? Would people stop by to ver view your gravesite if you had something like you see there? Who would you like them to make a gravesite like that for you? Who would be the one that you would want them to bury next to you? Who would you like to have them show kneeling between both of the gravestones? Are there any words that you would want them to put on your gravestone?
What happens if you are cremated instead of being buried in a coffin? Do you find it difficult to even think about things like that? Do you understand why it is that some people wind up having to do something like that? If you were one that ended up having to do that, where is it that you would decide to go do it? What is it that would make it a good place to ask for help from those passing by you? Would you have to have a lot of humility to be able to do something like that guy who is in the photo doing? Are you ever willing to give people who beg for money like that, that you happen to pass on the sidewalk? Doesn't it take a lot of humility to go out and do something like you see there? Is that how you would ask for help if you felt as desperate as that guy? Is there any other better way that a person like that could beg for money? Are many of the people who beg like that people who aren't able to hold a job to make money? How about people that are having mental problems they're dealing with? Do you feel sorry for the people that go do this in public? What about those who call on the phone asking for money? How much is the most you have ever given to help someone you didn't know? Do you know of any good websites where you could anonymously donate money to help others? Is there any other way besides giving money that you could help somebody that is in need?
Are there many ways that you could volunteer in your community so that you can help people less fortunate than yourself? How tragic. Don't you find it hard to look at? Are some people so desperate that they commit suicide? Do they feel so depressed that they feel that is the best way out of the problems they're having? How else can people who feel like committing suicide get help for what is making them depressed? Do there seem to be any famous people in the news these days that have committed suicide? Is it hard for people who feel like committing suicide to care how the people who love them would feel about it? Is the pain they experience too much for them to handle that makes them think of committing suicide? If you ever had those types of feelings, where is it that would be a, the best place to go to get help? Thank you.